Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Disneyland Paris Resort and we are going to be spending the day at Walt Disney Studios Park. This is their second park right across the street from Disneyland and I am so excited. Now, this is the smallest Disney park in the whole entire world, but they have a lot of up and coming projects like a new Frozen themed land and they even have a brand new Alice in Wonderland show. So I figured I'd come on out, make a little video sharing my experiences and we'd ride some rides eat some food and have a beautiful walt disney studios park kind of day anywho's let's go do this sadly it's a little rainy here in paris but i didn't come all this way to just hang out in my hotel room so we're gonna see what we can get done and i'm gonna have fun no matter what because i'm here like it's crazy and i'm so excited like it's just such a fun experience just to be able to hop from disneyland paris right over to walt disney studios as I mentioned before, they have a couple of upcoming projects that are really going to bring a lot of people to Walt Disney Studios. The uh, Frozen themed Arendelle is going to be a great addition. And they're also redoing the Hollywood section because this is based off of uh, Hollywood. Well, the Walt Disney Studios. And sadly, uh, stage one, the main entrance when you walk in is closed for refurbishment along with kind of like that Hollywood area. So they have a lot of walls, a lot of walls blocking stuff until it's completed but we're gonna navigate through if you take a look at the map you guys will know what i'm talking about when i say it's the smallest disney park literally we just walked in right here and then this is it uh until you know arendelle opens up which is going to be here and uh it's kind of in the shape of a mickey I am not an expert at Disneyland Paris. In fact, this is only my second time coming. But if you plan on coming on vacation here in 2024, this is probably a good video to watch because I had no idea like it was this heavily into construction. Like I knew about Arendelle, but not so much like the other areas of the park. And like I said, I'm not, I'm still happy to be here and I'm still gonna be able to do a lot of the rides that I wanna do. But I figured I'd show you guys just in case any of you do plan on coming here. So you guys uh, kind of have an idea what you're walking into right here is stage one that I was talking about how they have it closed for refurbishment and they have a wall right in front here and just look at all the things that are coming to Disneyland Paris well coming to Walt Disney Studios Park this uh, frozen land is gonna be beautiful what a massive expansion they're doing there and we're definitely gonna have to come back we're definitely coming back when it opens you have to actually go through a little wall maze here. You can see the Tower of uh, Terror right there. And up here you have to either make a left or a right and it splits off. Left is uh, Avengers Campus and then to the right is like the Toy Story area, uh, the Pixar area, and uh, I think uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. This is the wall I was talking about. They have that Alice and the Queen of Hearts Back to Wonderland, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, Avengers Campus, Stitch Live, all that way. And you're just in between two walls. And then you have Mickey the Magician, Crush's Coaster, Worlds of Pixar, Ratatouille, and Toy Story Playland, all that way. I don't need to be an expert to tell you guys it's probably not a great idea to buy the unlimited uh, Premier Access. It's 160 euros and uh, like, honestly you could probably do this park in a quarter of a day at this state right now. Uh, and I bought an individual like uh, a one time uh, Premier Access for Crush's Coaster so I think we're going to head over that way now and I can't wait to show you this ride. I absolutely love it. There are also several rides here that have single rider options, including Crush's Coaster. It's an 80 minute wait, 60 minutes for single riders. And wait till you see this coaster coming out of the building here. Ooh, oh, I love it. Oh, all right, let's go ride. Oh, and Woody's over there. It's a roller coaster that spins. So it's like teacups, but like as a roller coaster, probably gonna get dizzy. Look at the loading area here. And I think you sit back to back, so each shell seats four people. Oh! Friends, 
Crush's coaster was amazing. I got scared actually. I forgot how much it really throws you around. And you probably can't see anything once we actually start like hitting the roller coaster part of the ride because you're just spinning and you're, you're in the dark. I don't know, I, I, I can't tell. I don't know how the footage came out, but there's probably a lot of screaming. And now I think we're gonna keep moving along and try to make our way through this rainy day and maybe ride another ride. I wanted to go on RC Racer. It's like the Toy Story car racer. But I think it's closed because of the weather, so maybe we'll check out some of the other areas down in the Pixar Toy Story area. This way is to Toy Story Playland. It's kind of cool. It's just a miniature uh, like Toy Story land. And then on the other side of it is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure over on that side. I've also noticed the construction walls go alongside the areas that aren't actually under refurbishment. So they're kind of keeping it all boxed in and you really can't see anything of the uh, new land in Arendelle there. I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, look at, I'm like, oh, what can I see? But not much to show. Right there's the RC racer I was talking about. It's definitely not going because of the rain, but they got a little slinky dog. They got a little slinky dog. Hang on. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, that's kind of adorable. Man, I wish RC Racer was going. That's the one that goes like this. Oh, look at Rex over here. That's kind of cool. Oh, and they have a Play-Doh or a barrel of monkeys that is like a little portal that connects you to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Ah, oh, that's using your brain there, Disney. I like it. They think of everything. They have a Cars ride here too called Cars Road Trip. And I think it's like a mini uh, Radiator Springs. So I think we're gonna go back and ride that since it's, I think that's the farthest uh, part of the park. I take that back. This is nothing like uh, the Cars ride in Disney California Adventure. This is, uh, this is like a tram tour. This is like a, a parking lot tram or a tram tour Universal. Look at that. This is gonna be interesting. I think we're gonna hit the open road. Honestly, I don't know what to expect of this ride because I know that there's like one like uh, particular scene that I've seen before that has a lot of explosions and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure that there's other things to do about it. And I don't know any of those. You know what I mean? Oh boy, I think we're getting ready to go. I decided to sit in the last car because whenever I ride any tram rides, I figure if you sit in the back, the, the ride's longer because you're the last person to see it. Oh, bon we're moving. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. So big it's nuts. <laughs> Wow, the ghost garage. Merci. 
All right, everybody. We're making a short scheduled stop here in the canyon. Please remain seated and keep your hands and arms inside the tram. Thanks. Oh. That was fun. See you all again, man. <laughs> I love that ride. Honestly, it kind of just gave me a good feeling of the uh, Backlot Studio Tour mixed with Earthquake. And I, <laughs> I wasn't expecting the water coming from the top. It really caught me off guard. Now I think we're going to make our way over to Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. I'm probably not going to ride it because it's the same exact ride in Epcot. This is the original one. It's been here for years. Uh, but they do have a nice little restaurant. It's a nice little area. And then we're going to make our way over to uh, Avengers Campus. Do a little, little, I was going to say not a wraparound. It's like a snake because of the walls and the maze. A little snake. A little, little sickness. A little, little sticky snake. <laughs> we get to use the bucket of monkeys portal. <laughs> Look, they even got a glow. I bet you this at night is really, really pretty. Like the whole Toy Story play area. Look at that. We're in, uh, we're back in Paris. They've got a nice little bread stand right here. And then up here they have some macaroons and some other sweet treats. I think I'm gonna go grab a sweet treat. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is what we need. Oh, I might get a bonbon. Oh, look, they got white chocolate bonbons, and then they got their macaroons here. This is so fancy. Look at white chocolate covered strawberries. Mm. It's probably easier just taking them off the stick like this and eating them. <laughs> the stick, because if you take a bite on the side, it kind of just falls off. The chocolate's hard, though, so they're just staying together. It's like three little snowballs. I also got a little three pack, pistachio, coffee, and strawberry. I always love pistachio. It's one of my favorite flavors. Pistachio. The pistachio flavor is amazing. It's a little stale though, but either way, I'm kind of happy. It's really cool to just be sitting here, tucked away in the corner, eating, just relaxing and enjoying, you know, Paris or Paris. 
I like the Ratatouille area here better than Epcot. Is I don't know. It's got more food offerings, and it's got plenty of space to walk around. All the snacks were great. I think I like the white chocolate strawberries the most. Those were actually phenomenal. But now I think we're going to make our way to Tower of Terror. Normally, I could just go to Tower of Terror right through this way, but the walls, like I mentioned, so we have to literally go do boop. They have the whole center actually closed off. Everywhere from the front of the park all the way back to Toy Story Land there. Wow, it's really busy over here. <laughs> I was going to make my way to Tower of Terror, but I don't want to miss the last Alice uh, in Wonderland show. That's why I wore this shirt today. This is a whale of a Roosevelt shirt. A lot of people don't know Roosevelt's are like a collectible and this shirt is actually pretty expensive. I got it when it came out at D23 and it's got like an exclusive tag on it right here. And I've seen them sell for like $600. Actually, they're probably like multiple ones sold for $600. Here it is though, Alice and the Queen of Hearts, Back to Wonderland, new show in the theater of the stars. Look at that, fancy. This is really tucked away back here. I'm excited though, it's a unique show that I've never seen before. I even, I've only seen little tiny snippets of it, so I don't know what to expect. Wow, holy moly, look at this. This is something else. The Theater of the Stars. This is so interesting, it's gonna be like a stunt show. Alice in Wonderland stunt show.
was interesting. Oh, you know, I have to say, I love the music. That was a very interesting show. When I first like heard it was like BMX and stunt, I was like, oh wow, that's kind of interesting, especially with Alice in Wonderland, but I mean, that's kind of like the wonder of it, you know? And uh, there was no stunts because of the rain, so that's why they had a, it was like B-mode, but I would have loved to see it with the bicycles. I seen those ramps there, but they weren't allowed to do any tricks because it's probably slick. But still, the music was the best thing. I loved it. The music was so good. Now we're gonna make our way into Avengers Campus finally. I like how they have a little diner over here too. I remember last time I was here, I got to see the Hulk, like the Hulk come out of there. It was like his first, first time actually coming out. I was here. Oh, I do love Avengers Campus. I just love the music. Maybe Flight Force. I wouldn't mind doing that. Avengers Assemble Flight Force is a launch coaster that is uh, rethemed to the Avengers. It used to be Rock and Roller Coaster and then Armageddon. So just like Rock and Roller Coaster in uh, Disney's uh, Hollywood Studios. But I kind of like it though because I love Marvel. I'm not too sure I can film on that ride, but they do have web slingers here. And Scotty's never done it and Scotty just met up with us. There he is. So now we're gonna go do web slingers. Little web slingers. There it is, web slingers. Looks like it's only a five minute wait for single riders too. That's usually just like in Disneyland or DCA. Got my special Webo Vision. Webo Vision. Ooh, I'm bald. Get ready. Oh boy. Let's get a master class. J'assigne les profils de couleurs individualisés. Calibrage des lanceurs de toile. Someone's got to clean up all these spider webs. Spider-Man! <laughs> Web Slingers was a lot of fun. I love that ride. Scotty, you did really good. I crushed it. You did. I you... To my own horror, I think, but... oh, well, you could sling your own web if you want it. <laughs> well, I think we're going to make our way up the tower now. I did not do good on Web Slingers. In fact, now my, my arms are hurting a little bit. I was trying to go. I was trying to do. I was trying to do it like two hands, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought that the Florida weather was unpredictable, but this is just crazy. Rain all day, and now it's beautiful. An hour before the park closes. It's only a 15-minute wait for the uh, Tower of Terror. So I mean, I already got the premium access. Might as well use it, though. The Hollywood Tower Hotel, 1929. Look at this. Much bigger lobby. Oh. Got plenty of room to just walk around in here.
Tower of Terror is definitely the scariest one out of all of them. That little girl, she's just like trying to save you and warn you. And she's like, if you scream, it'll only get worse. And like, it's just creepy the way that like she talks and says things like that. But I loved it. And uh, now, I don't know, the park's starting to close and it's still daylight. It's like almost 9 o'clock and I don't know how they're going to have the drone show. It's literally like, I feel like it's 5 in the afternoon. Well, I just found out there's no drone show. <laughs> the last time I was here, they had like an Avengers drone, uh, drone show that was above Tower of Terror. But I was wondering, like, it's 9 o'clock at night right now, so how could they do any drones? But it all makes sense now. The only drone show they have is the one that's over in Disneyland, which is amazing, but that's not till 11 o'clock tonight. And I guess with that, we're just going to call it a night now. Even though the weather is just amazing and I wish I had it all day. Like, I wish I had more time in the park with this weather. But, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun today. I honestly did. I got to do, uh, I got to do a lot of the things that I wanted to do. And uh, today's my last day, so it's time to start making my way back to Florida. Lots of cool stuff, though, coming up in the next couple of weeks back home. But this was a good trip. I had a lot of fun. I only had three days, but I made the most of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you uh, next time. Bye.